So I've now registered for the 25th Cold Nuclear Transmutation and Ball Lightning Conference here in Sochi. Uh, and I was given these two books. And uh, this is one with papers. And this is kind of like the order. And I'm really, really excited. There's some uh, excellent uh, speeches. Uh, looks like there's uh, scheduled. Uh, so on Tuesday we have Parkamore first. And he will be presenting uh, the isotopic studies and more data uh, from uh, the what I consider one of the most important and uh, uh, valuable tests ever conducted. I presented uh, an overview of this at ICCF 21 um, in uh, Colorado. Uh, anyway, he's going to be talking about his uh, more than half year test, uh, uh, Klimov, uh, who I understand uh, from speaking to him this morning, uh, he worked uh, with shoulders for a period in California. And uh, I want to talk more about his work uh, uh, over the course of the week. But Parkamov and Klimov both look like they're in good health. And there's some excellent presentations here. Uh, Sergei Godin I saw at lunch today. And he is part of Denaeum. And he's going to be talking about uh, a test set up. Um, uh, like a, a replication of a previous uh, researcher's work. Uh, uh, and it's called Energovia. Uh, Parkamov again talking... Um, uh, as chair on Wednesday. Uh, so this is the schedule. You can have a look through this. Uh, Thursday, um, I've given a, a, been given a tentative slot to talk here on Thursday. And at the moment, I'm thinking I'm going to talk about um, uh, strange radiation observations and uh, uh, shed some light on what I mean by spheres uh, uh, here. And... Uh, uh, so uh, you can see, you can see, and uh, Philip Hat here. Mm -hmm. And apparently, there's an excursion on Saturday. Don't know what that is. Anyway, so. It's quite a nice schedule. Um, these things tend to overrun, so they've not overfilled the schedule. So you have like 10 to 1, but lunch still is still served at uh, 3. So uh, <laughs> I guess there'll be lots of talking and then things in the afternoon. So that's that. But what I also wanted to talk about is something that um, An Anatoly Klimov told me today, which I think is really, really incredible. Uh, the... Our moves afoot, and within potentially as little as one year, the Russian Federation will um, publicly recognize low energy nuclear reactions, or as they call it, cold nuclear transmutation. They will publicly recognize it as an official science. So this is more important um, than what was uh, uh, announced a couple of years ago, I think in 2015, where they said they were going to have a a research program on that. I think they've seen enough now to consider this uh, and make it official that it will be uh, an official science. So uh, this is radical um, compared to what's going on, in, as far as I understand, in the rest of the world. No other group of nations or nations are recognizing this as an official respected science. So I think that's a huge move, even before we get into the presentations. Um, and let's hope that the, that all goes through smoothly in the in the coming year. And uh, I think things are really, really afoot here.